ji thong naam bada ba so it's i mean just to brief you what is conoco the conoco is this, uh, like you know the vocal percussion i'm just going to give like one minute one minute of uh, like you know my like uh, i would say like a solo so that you will get to know what is conoco of course you all know it but just to want to like you know to give you this i'm going to do it in eight beat cycle which is a adi thal we call it which is like one two three four five six ตาตาตาดินกะดินกะนาตาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาตาดินดินนาต
eight into four, it's 32. So one cycle, which has 32 counts, which means I have 32 number, 32 syllables, I can use it, or I can use it for eight times four, or four times three and four times five, or like uh, two times seven and two times nine. See, it's all a combination of different numbers to make it to 32. That's the basic. So that's, that's what we do. For example, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, one, two. That's a cycle, right? One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, one. So that's that's the combo. Like you know, first we establish a cycle. It's a eight beat cycle, and we establish every beat has four counts because we do also have different counts per beat, and we call it natai. Natai natai means uh, that's the it says what count I'm using it. For example, this one is chatushra natai, and there is one before which is tishram, which is one two three two two three, which you all call it triplets. One, two, three, two, two, three. Every bead has three counts. And then a chakushram, which is every bead has four counts. And kanda, which means like every beat has five counts, which is a quintuplet. I don't know whether you say it. And seven. Every beat has seven counts, which is a mishram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, which is like taka dibi, taka dibi, taka dibi, taka dibi, taka dibi, taka dibi, taka dibi. So which means every bead has sound, seven counts. And then I have to improvise on that. It's not a seven beat cycle, it's an eight beat cycle, but every beat has seven counts, which means Mishra. And then a Sangirnam, which is a nine beats count. That's the max. Like every beat has nine. That's the max. So which which means three, four, five, seven, and nine. So these are the base. Only we have five, which is a three, four, five, seven, nine. You might ask, like, where the six goes? And where's the eight? Like, no, six is nothing but double time of Tishra, which is three, three. So still you can do that six, which is a, uh, I would say 16 notes of like Tishram, which is every beat has six. If you make it double speed, which is a three, every beat has three. If you make it a double six, so that can be like, you know, played, then covered that. And then what is eight double speed of 16 note of Chatushram, which is every beat has four. If you make it 16 note, which means like every beat has eight counts, which is a double speed of Chatushram that is there. So everything is covered. If you do three, four, five, seven, nine, then other numbers are all covered with that. So these are the basic natai. Natai means the counts which shows like what the every bead has. So natai, that's the basic. So natai, jati, natai, and thala. These are the three words we use it. Which is jati means, it says, because we do also have a thala structure. For example, seven bead is okay. We don't go to seven bead, we'll go later. Eight bead, which I said Aditala, which is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The structure is even though it's eight, eight, uh, eight bead, but how it's formed one, two, three, four, one, two, uh, uh, one, two, one. So that's the structure of eight bead. Even though it's eight big, but we count it like one, two, three, four, one, two, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, one, two. So this is the separation for Adita. And when we want to improvise, we can improvise on the first four and they keep the next half as a simple, or we group the first four and the next two, uh, two sets we do improvise or just the last set. Just to make it clear, I mean, to make it easy, we have three groups. One group has four beat, the next group has two beat, the next group has three, two beat, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one. So you can improvise this two, or you can improvise on this two, on the group B and group C. And group A will be the group, which is taka, dimi, taka, dimi, taka, dimi, taka, dimi, taka, dimi, kada, dimi. So the groove will remain same like and the next two sets group we improvise, which is group B. Okay, let, to make it very clearly, group A has four beat, which is 16 counts. Each beat has four. 
4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16. So group A has 16. Group B, two beat, which is one, two. Every beat has four counts, so eight. So group B has eight and group C has eight. So 16, eight, eight. That's the value of a group where like A, B, C. So A, group A as a group, I'll make it, I'll, I don't do any improvisation. I just want to play the straight four fours, which is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, straight. And group B, I'll keep it straight. And group C, I will improvise, which is eight, four plus four is eight. I won't do the four plus four, I'll do three plus five. I, like, like go from um, like this, one plus seven, two plus six, three plus five, four plus six, I mean four plus four. Uh, five plus three, it's, it's like an order. Like if I go down here, I increase here. So one, seven, two, six, three, five, four, four, five, three, six, two, seven, one, which will be taka dimmi, 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 taki ta. Before doing this, I want to give you all a syllable for two taka. Okay, for two is taka. If you want to write it down, we can do that. For number two, the syllable is taka. Number three, three takita. For four, taka dimi. If you, even like you know, if you're if you know this three, then you can. It's all a permutation combination of the syllables or like that. Two is taka. Three is takita. Four is taka dimi. And for five, two plus three. What is two? Taka. And three is takita. So taka takita. That will be five. For six, two plus four or three plus three. So two plus four or four plus two, whatever. Two is taka and four is taka dimi. For five, taka takita. For six, taka taka dimi or taka dimi taka. For seven, three plus four or two plus five. Two plus five again, like, you know, two, three, four, that's the basic, right? So let's make it four plus three or three plus four. Takita taka dimi or taka dimi takita. For eight, that's how it's going to be. It's a permutation combination of two, three, four. That's the basis. So, so if I say one and seven, just ta without a pause, that will be one. So don't ta, don't ta means like one one. So one one two three four five six sound. One one two three four five six sound. One one two three four five six sound, which is eight. So taka din me 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 one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not cut, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dim, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, dimmy, tuck, Dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi one two three four five one two three taka dimmi ta dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi one two three four five six one two taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi one two three four five six seven one taka dimmi. So what happens is where it started, it goes reverse. It ends with that one seven, and it ends ends with seven and one. These are the possibilities. So. This is how we start improvising. For example, for the melodic player, just imagine when you're soloing it. Which is one and seven. So this is the first step where we do improvise. Then after that, okay, I started with one seven because it's eight. I can only do one seven, two six, three five, four four. Five three, then uh, six two and seven one. So total seven. Then I take the group B and group C together, which will be sixteen. So then I have four four B. So taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi group. Then group B and group C. I can put it together so that I have a value of sixteen. Now, the first one which I improvised on eight is one seven two six. I can do this similarly one one seven seven. To make it very simple, so it means like a two and fourteen, but my my like you know my vision is like one one seven seven two two six six then three three five five then four 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 and then five five three three 
it's all reverse. So one, two, three, four, taka, dimmi, taka, dimmi, ta, dimmi, taka, dimmi, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, taka, dimmi, ta, dimmi, taka, dimmi, taka, dimmi, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, taka, dimmi, taka, dimmi, ta, dimmi, taka, dimmi, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, taka, dimmi, ta, dimmi, taka, dimmi, taka, dimmi, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we usually skip the 4 4 because it's already like you know, we are doing it 4. So, that our, we'll make it something different, which is agnam ending. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, taka dim. Which is like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I slow down that, which is like a 1, 1 is muted, 2, 2 is muted, 3, 3 is muted, 4, 4, which is 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot, 4 dot, which is a, you call it. Quarter note or half notes, whatever. So tak dim, which is one one two two three three four four. One one is muted, two two is muted, three three. It's stretching out. So make it two yeah like a four two fours. I'll stretch it as a one four, which is like ta ta kaka didi mimi ta dad is muted didi. So it means like one dot two dot three dot four dot. So eight syllable. The second second syllables are muted. So I can make it little interesting of the four, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, taka dimmi, kadimmi, taka dim, kadimmi, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, ta dimmi, taka dimmi, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one. Kadimi taka dimi taka dimi one two three four five six on one two three four five six on one two ta. All right. So this is like in a second next step. Like you know, I take sixteen. Then I go full cycle. Like you know, I have thirty two counts. Then I had I have a lot of variation to do in thirty two. Still, you would have asked like, okay, I have done it. A, it's it's as I said earlier. The tala structure is only three groups. Group A. Group B, Group C, Group A has four four beats, Group B has two beats, and this one is like a uh, two beat. Now, I have started improvising for two beat, then four beat, then people expect six beat. It's not like that. Like you know, it's half of half of everything. Which is a uh, one cycle is eight beat, half cycle is four beat, half of that is two beat, then one. Which means eight, four, two, one. See if I want to improvise or if I do a trade. Uh, basic trades if I do with a different percussion player it's always like this one cycle which means eight beat then we do half cycle which is a four beat you would have asked like eight seven six you can go like that like then it's not the, the tala side structure is like that. so one cycle is like an eight beat half cycle is four half of that is two and half of that is one that's the way I also improvised it here now which is a two beat and then a four beat improvisation then I take a full cycle. I have like 32 counts. I can do wonders. I can do a lot of calculations into that. Like you just, you can come up with any numbers together and uh, make it 32. But there is a small rule we follow, but you don't have to, as long as if you do three times of whatever you do, then it sounds like, uh, okay, then, then it's a rule accepts to do that. Otherwise, there are the way to follow is like a natural numbers even numbers or odd numbers for an example if i say seven uh, then five then it should be three it's not like a seven five i can make it four so this should be an order but to make it 32 you cannot do like oh, how do i do even numbers uh, like you know make it like two four six eight ten then something is left out what do i do like that so whatever you make it a combination of numbers for 32 do it three times then it's say then it's accepted saying you're not doing the you you are splitting the 32 phrase and then playing it three times then it's accepted logically but like you know i mean you, you don't have to worry about that now but still try something for 32 like you know just to give an example uh 10 10 10 i want to do three times of 10 which means 30 so what is left out two so you start after two one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten wow but it's ta ta ki ta tum ta ding ge na tum ta ki ta tum ta ding ge na tum ta ki ta tum ta ding ge na tum so this is how it, it's going to work so first thing what you all have to do is 
imagine a number like between one, not even one, between two to 10, I would say. Rather, you take it up like, you know, let's say like five to 10. Just imagine any number between five to 10 and say it like, you know, you say like, okay, I want to do like, for example, seven, but do it three times, then calculate that three sevens are 21. So minus 32, what is it? What was the left out? That number you put it in inside like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Ta. So like 11, I have to start after 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ta. So the first 11, you make it like a silence, which is 11. Whatever the number left out, for example, if you want to do three, seven, which is three, seven, so 21. 32 minus 21 is 11. 11, you have to put it in the big name and then do three sevens. So now that 11, how many fours can be out? One four, two fours, which is eight. What is left out? You cannot do one more four because only three left. So each bead has four counts. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two bead is gone. Make it like a silence, like ta, d. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You understand? Like a three, if you want to, if you decide to do a number three times, which is seven, three sevens or 21, what each cycle has 32. So 32 minus 21 is 11. That 11, you have to think, like see it, how many fours can be taken out in that 11? One, four, two fours, which is eight. After that is three, only three left. So that two fours, you leave it as a gap so that you have a groove or whatever. Like, for example, one cycle of groove. For the melodic player, if you're soloing it, so this is what the math will like, you know, help you when you're doing a solo, not like instead of that, you can have some numbers so that it makes you like, you know, it, it gives a more interesting uh, logic behind it, which is like, for example, like, I would say like uh, eight bars of solo, like, so it's more interesting like that, like, you know, take any number, like, you know, um, between five to 10 and do it three times. So calculate that. And make it like you know whatever the number or the total comes out, do the do it minus th from thirty two, and whatever is left out, put it in the front, and in that whatever the number is left out, let's just try to see how many fours you can take it out. So that which is like for example, uh, the seven what we did is like a one, two, one two three taka di me taki taka di me taki taka di me taki taka. Right? Do it three times, then it becomes a tihai, which is a kolo, or kind of a like a arudi, we call it, which is like ta di taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the ta di taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the ta di taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the taka timbi taki the ta. So once you can also make it a head like this, like, you know, for your song, like, you know, the, this is how, like, you know, I mean, when I started playing in Shakti, um, you, you all know that John McLaughlin, uh, of course, learned Konakol and a uh, little more technique of Veena, Veena technique from Veena Balachandar. And then he's more into South Indian rhythmic uh, composition, which he loves to do it. And then I asked him, what makes you to learn South Indian uh, Carnatic music? Or, how it helped you in your music? He says to to compose a song, the conical helps me a lot. For example, that's where I started. Com I'm, he was saying that's how I started composing hard rhythms. Like he has eleven and thirteen, and then a six and a half, five and a half, seven and a half, 
he has a piece in every different piece. Like, you know, then when he decides to come up with, like, if something inspires him, for example, one, two, three, four, takita, takita, one, two, three, four, takita, takita, which is five and a half beats. Like, which is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So why I said five and a half beat? Every, as I said in the beginning, every beat has a, default count of four which is one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four five two three four one two one so five two three four then only half one two so if half of one beat is two so it's a five and a half beat which is nothing but taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi takita takita ta so coming back to that he said it helps a lot the math the calculation or like, you know, mathematic thing, which helps him a lot to compose a piece so that like, because he doesn't need to worry about like, oh, how to end this or how do I do this? Okay. Ta. Otherwise, you will be stuck. Okay. For example, you get inspired from something. Okay. I want to do in a uh, uh, five and a half beat. Like, ta, 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 so you'll be keeping that takita takita as a, as, a, as a like you know just to keep it that and then this four you start improvising because we all got used to the four four thing which is easier as i said default when i say default which means like it's there in our body too if it's a four beat eight beat or seven beat whatever it's very simple for us to play but just and a half comes in we are stuck a little bit but we wanted to make uh, our brain to like you know uh, to make it easy we we calculate one two three four one two three one two three one uh, two uh, three four one two three one two three to make it that as a simple then we start improvising it too but if you know this concept of math in our rhythm which is south indian thing then you don't have to worry about it we always think like okay you know, it's like five and a half is like what uh, okay 11 i will do so I don't have to worry about the takita I just go on, do improvise. Only thing is I know it immediately. My mind says, okay, these are the things. How, how, how do I split that? So this it's nothing but 16 plus 6. So 1, 2, 3. Four. You all know every beat has four. The four beat is 16, right? So one more six is added, which is 22. Once I know 22, that's it. Immediately my mind start splitting the 22 into different form of numbers. This is what. So when I asked him, this is what he said. This helped me. I don't have to worry about the cycle, which comes like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I don't have to worry about it. I say, okay, if four beat is 16 plus six is 22. I have 22. And how do I split the 22? 10, 10, 2. What comes out immediately when you wanted to split something? So 22, what came into my mind is 2, 10, 10 or 10, 2, 10. So this is how like it came in immediately. Once you got that 10, 2, then what are the possibility for 10, 3, 7, 2, 8, and 5, 5, 4, 6, everything, and 10 here. So 2, I'll keep it 2 as a simple. So 10, 2, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So then I don't have to worry about the, the Tala cycle. I, worry, I started thinking about 22. So this is how it works. So once whatever the number comes in your mind, then that's how the split will be. In that number, the maximum is 10. Then at 10, then you have a different combination for 10. So like there'll be a two numbers to do that number. So then you have like, you know, one, two, so three plus seven, two, three plus seven. So just like, you know, one, two, three, four, five numbers, five different numbers to make it 20, which is three, seven. So three is be the one number, seven will be the other number. Then there is a two, then three will be the other number, then seven will be the other number. So total five different numbers to make it one cycle. This is the concept. Like, you know, I mean, you what you all have to think is immediately. You don't have to see it, it might take a time to work out this, but that's why I go back to 32, which is a or not even 32. Make it like a 4-4, which is a 16, 
like a four beat one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four right four beats it's 16 counts so whatever the number comes into your mind first i know six plus ten to make it we always make it very simple so 16 means six plus ten okay let it be that's six you 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 don't count one two three four five six make it like a two split two numbers or three numbers whatever one two three two two three three one two three two two three six or one two 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 three two is also six make it two num two different num do, i mean two different combination of number two come up the, for that number which is six two plus four or three plus three or one plus five whatever so make it three three two three plus three is six what is left out ten i want to make it five five or three seven or two eight whatever so whatever there is split numbers like you know make it five five okay one two three two two three one two three four five two two three four five one two three two two three one two three four five two two three four five still you are in 16. once you have this keep it as a like a two split now group a group b in that 16 which is group a has three three group b b will be having five five so i want to keep this three three then start improvising on that five five that ten so I start with three seven or, or like let's go from one nine to where I did it in Aditalam, like a two beat, which is one seven. Similarly, for the ten, which is one nine, two eight, three seven, four six, five five. So you have the variations. So still you are in four four, but you you start improvising on ten after six. So ta 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 da da do ta da 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 da. So it's like like a bass line, boom, boom, you fill it up the for the ten. Rather, it's still sixteen, which is you are doing four, 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 four. Rather, three, three, five, five. So just imagine this is what it makes you more little interesting. At the same time, it's it, it has a more value. You you don't stick on to four 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 four. You you try to like split. So take it as a full cycle now. Four times of four times of three, four times of five. If you double it that. 2, 3, 2, 5, 16. If you want to make it like a 1, 8 beat cycle, then double everything, which is like a 4 times 3, 4 times 3. Which is. Ta da ta da one two three one two three four five six seven one two three one two three four five six seven ta da ta da one two three four one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six ta da ta da one two three four five 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 ta da ta da one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six one two three four ta da so it's all like that so this is the way we improvise and then also sometimes when we do a trade it won't be like a four beat four beat four beat four beat we split like this. I do three B, you do five B, which is what I did now. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, the trade for the first position. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five will be for the next position. If we have four percussion players, then we split like this. Four times three, four times five, and the other person does four times seven, and another person does four times nine. So that will be the two cycles of that. So if you see it, the the rules is there which is a odd number three five seven nine so but the um the beauty of math is odd number plus odd number will give you a answer of even number right three plus five is eight seven plus nine is sixteen so that's always like this so three plus five is eight seven plus nine is sixteen so taki four times of three four times of five four times of seven four times of nine will be three cycles of eight b which is one two three two two three three two three four two three one two three four five two two three four five three two four five four two three four five one two three four five six seven two two three four five six seven three two four five six seven four two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine two two three five six seven eight nine three two three four five six seven eight nine four two three four five six seven eight nine one so which will be the three cycles and the the trade will be uh 
three beat, five beat, seven beat, and nine beat. Just imagine, usually you have a trade for a standard, you say like a 17 bars or like eight bars, you get eight bars, and then uh, nine bars and six bars, whatever. Rather, can also do it like this to make it a little more interesting, like three beat, five beat, seven beat, nine beat, still you are in eight beat cycle, it will be three cycles. Or start from nine, nine, seven, uh, five, three, do it like this. So this is the math which our rhythm is morely followed and like uh, all the way we take it and first we establish as I said like a just two beat start like keep it as a groove one two three four to show that okay this is the count of the beat then I do the split which is like a I mean different two numbers don't make it like you know eight is three five whatever then take it two four beats and then take it eight beats this is the development so this is how you work. So let's, I'm, see, in this class, what I'm going to tell you all, like, you know, come up with the numbers in for 32, take down any number, just add that, as I said earlier, to do three times of that number, add that into, like, you know, whatever the answer comes out, make a subdivision from, I mean, make minus in the 32. Once you dash that, whatever the uh, number left out, put it in the beginning. For that, for example, if it's 11, some like the number is left out is 11. How many fours can be taken out? Take it out and the rest you fill it up with the number and then do the number which you've chosen. Try this. Once you get used to this and then once you know, okay, this is how it works. Then I'll move on to the next, how to finish that. Once you start this, you move on different, different numbers, but how to finish that, how to make a tihai or how to make an ending. That's once you get used to this, that would be more easy and you'll understand. Oh, correct. I could have done that. Oh, I can, I can do this. I can do that. So first thing, the first exercise to, for your brain or to like, you know, to write it on is 32 is your uh, uh, thing, which you all have it in here. And, or even you can, even you can take it 64, which is a two cycle, but like, you know, still whatever, but they do it for the eight B, which is a 32, whatever the number comes out, you know, or do it like a from four, three, four. If I want to do three, four, how many I have to believe? If I want to do three fives, just make it like that. Like, you know, make it simple and come up with this. So once you start working on it, then you will know it. Okay. Then it's, it's more interesting. Then you don't worry about the cycle. You know, it, it can be five and a half beat or six and a half, seven and a half. You know, the total value. Once you know the value immediately, your brain, your mind will say, these are the three numbers or it, it gives you a split for that. Like 22. Okay. Immediately comes in 11, 11. But 11 means, okay, how do, I, how do I split the 11? Okay, 7 plus 4, 7 plus 4. Okay, I know the syllable for 7 and 4, or I know the melody for 7 and 4. Oh, I start doing it, and then it, it lands. I don't have to worry about the, to, to maintain 1, 2, 3, 4. Rather that, it's all like you know i don't even have to see the talam my count is already like you know okay these are the combinations 22 what i can do i have like you know i mean of course it goes endless but there is a limitation like you know you said these are the it immediately comes on in my mind like this like no okay these are the combinations. These are the numbers I can do it for this other. Once I start doing, that's enough for me to do it a solo on stage. So like, you know, these are the things which comes in my, it's all like a more of matrix, like, you know, every, all green, everything comes in my eyes, <laughs> like saying all the numbers, it's all falling down. And these are the things which comes in immediately. I just go on. So because we got used to the more of math. So the reason why I'm saying is it definitely it helps for the melodic player, for the, for the rhythmic, I mean, for the percussionist, for the drummer, for any, if, for any musician, math will definitely help you and then make your brain more sharper. And then like, you know, you know it, like you don't have to, you don't, once like, you know, you, when you jam, when someone says, okay, I play in 13. Okay, play 13, three plus 10, come on, let's do. Then immediately my metric starts. Like and everything, all numbers will come on, like, you know, it's all comes in my hand. And uh, to my instrument, to my brain, everything, it's like 13, that's it. Whatever the combinations of 13, we can just work it out. So this is how it's going to be. So I hopefully, I think uh, the time which I've spent would really help for you to start thinking and then start working. And then once you work, if you want to send it to me, you can send it through like, you know, I mean, David or 
I think my email is selvagoffice at gmail, which is S E L V A G office at gmail.com. You can send it to me a question, or if you start working on it, you can send it to me and saying, This is how I worked. Uh, any rectification, or is that correct? Or whatever the question, you can still ask me a question now because I'm going now, like, you know, I'm going to ask like, you know, the question and I'm in Q and A. But still, if you want to start working on it and then uh, you can phrase it, and then you can also tell me how do I phrase this, how do I make it this, whatever questions you have, it like you, know, you can send it to me, or um, you can Skype me, which is Kanjay Kan Selva K A N J S E L V A. Uh, in my email, it is selvagoffice at gmail.com, or you can send it to David, whoever. So they will all, uh, oh, there is a lot of chats were happening. Oh, I didn't know. I'm really, really sorry. So, oh, actually, uh, that well, all the chats were, were just me trying to. Okay, cool. Oh, well, cool. well, that's nice. Well, thank you very much. Tim. Oh, wow. Well, people that are makes, correcting me as we're going. I appreciate Yeah, that um, makes actually interesting. It seems like a couple of the, I mean, at this point, if people have questions, they can type it into the Zoom chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we can spend them the last 10 or 15 minutes on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems to me like the big takeaways that you were saying was, uh, typically we have an eight beat cycle. Typically we divide it into four. So we have 32 beats. You mm. can choose any number of air. Okay. And if you choose, uh, oh, David, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, 32 counts, eight beats, 32 right. counts. Right. right, right. Sorry. Okay. 32 oh. counts. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so if we chose three nines, mm. we have 27 beats. We would count five and exactly. then do anything we want with those there 27 go. beats. There you go. There you go. Um, That's the basic. Yep. And then you said something that actually surprised me a lot. You, you said that the three, if you take four groups of three, four groups of five, four groups of seven, and four groups of nine, somehow that, that turns ah, into... Uh, that many beats. Uh, how many? That, that turns that into... That many third. beats. If, uh, that's how it's a very, to make it very simple... Any number you do it four times, you need that many beats, the number you have chosen. For example, if you're doing four times of five, you need five beats. Okay, that's even very simple on stage to do it. If you want to do four sevens, you need seven beats, not the count, seven beats, which means you are in a cycle of eight beat. You have to start at, uh, you have to start after one beat. Very simple. So one. One two three four five six seven. 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 So any number you choose, if you want to do it, like, you know, if you do it four times of that number, that will be that many beats of the number which I've chosen. And then after that, once you know that, then ready, then uh, like in a minus into eight beats. For example, if you're doing nine, means like already we are in a cycle of eight. So nine means you need nine beats. So it means like you have to kind of like, you know, take one more cycle. You have to start after two beats. So after seven beats, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, like that. So go for it. So that's the num thing which I was saying it last time. Like, you know, so any number you do it four times, you need that many beats. Then it's easy for you to minus that into the cycle and then go with that. Actually, Hi, I'm just seeing you. How are you? Good. Okay, well, I'm actually, I'm still a little confused exactly. So you're saying mm -hmm. if you had four groups of five, you could do that four times. Mm -hmm. You'd count no, no. five four times. No, uh, yeah, five four times will be five beats. To and make then it you'd, you'd wait. F you, okay, you'd, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Okay. So see, four times of five is what? 20. Yeah. Five, 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 five is 20. So five beat has what? Each beat has four. So it's nothing but five into four. 20. Right? Sure. So any number, if you want to do five, it means like if you do four times, you need five beats to do that, which is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, sure. one. Ah, uh, okay. Four, I see. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So you need five beats. So if you are on a cycle of eight beat, you want to do this is a five beat, then you have to start after three beat. Right? So mm -hmm. one, two, uh, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, five, one, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. If you're on a 13, you, you like, you know, if you want to do five, then you have to start after uh, uh, eight. Or if you're on seven beat, you start after like a three beat, a two beat. It's only thing like, you know, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven beat, right? If you want to do four times five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So any number, you do it four times, you need that many beats of the number which you have chosen. Do you get it? Got and it. then whatever the cycle you are in, just minus that. That's it. Cool. All right. Can you see the questions here? Uh, uh, we... On the on, on your chat? In the, in the chat. If not, I can just read them to you. Okay. Uh, Sebastian asks if you also use Tadiki Natum for yes. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are a lot. See, once you get the basic syllable, then you there are a lot of uh, syllables for like you know different vary syllables. Like you know there are different syllables for five, for six, and for six, as I said, four. Taka taka dini. But there is also the other way of counting is like one, two is one, two, three is silent. Four, five, six. Which is the Tadingi Natum as Sebastian is saying. Tadi Gi Natum is five. Tadi Gi Natum will be six. Tadi Gi Natum. Tadi Gi Natum. For seven, Tadi Gi Natum. Tadi Gi Natum. That's like a next level, of course. And the Tadi Gi Natum, of course, you know, that's also five. So we can say Tadi Gi Natum. Then let's go faster. Tadi Gi Natum. Gi will be Gi The reason is Tadi Gi Natum. Tadi Gi Natum. Tadi Gi Natum. Tadi Gi Natum. When it says Dum. Closed lips, you cannot do faster. Tadi kita ton, tadi kita ton. So kita ton will be like you know, uh, change it to like kita ton when it goes faster. So that's tadi uh, gina is also fine. Yep. There are particular rules yeah. that add motion for each talent seems to emphasize certain beats and silence others. Uh, there is not it's it's there is no um, particular reason it's 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 all written like your talas are all written like uh, we have like seven talas so each and every tala what is the structure of that tala how it's split it it's all written so we just follow the uh, the roots and rules like what they made it because it's 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 very tough to ask question to my guru like why the tala structure because there is no time to do that we have so many talas so to learn that tala is like, you know, we were, then once we started learning, we got on two days and like, oh my gosh, so much tala is like, which is a huge number of tala. We even have like uh, 116 counts or something like more than that. Like, you know, every cycle has that huge cycles are out there. So there is no particular reason for that, but it's all written. It's all built up. It's formed by the elders. Group of, uh, what was the next? Um, someone asks about the other common talas. Uh, what is that? What other is that? than Adi Tala. Oh, yeah. This is like uh, uh, my, our, our Rupak will be different than a North Indian Rupak. These, when, I, when I say Rupakam, which means three beat, which will be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's for three. For five, we have different versions of five to, to make it talent, but there is a common which is used in our form is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which is one, two is silence, three, four, five is silence. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For seven, similarly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three is on air, four, five, Six seven. So one two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. So these are the commonly used tala, which is Adi Talam, eight beat, Rupakam, which is a three beat, Misara Chap, seven beat, Kanda Chap, five beat. This is the common four talas. Right. Um, you see Fred's question here. He's asking if you could have. For the first half, do something in sixteenth notes, and then and then go into triplets for the second half. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. For example, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, 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 taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, 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 taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita. We can do wonders. Once I decide what, what I want to do it, then I'll start come like in again. 
going into match. Like, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi. Four times of three, it's nothing but three times of four. Once I get three times of a four, then I'll start improvising into it, keeping a first four as a simple second two four, which is eight. So, taka dimmi, 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 don't ta. Or what I was doing it three times of <coughs> four in triplet. Make the first four as a simple, second two fours as I calculate like an eight, then I'll do the version which I did it in Chatushram, which is one, seven, two, six in the triplet. So we can also do it like first four half like a Chatushram, second four half will be Tishram or Kanda or Mishra, whatever you want. Of course, we do that. Okay, uh, maybe we'll make this our last question. Oh, well, mm -hmm. we have two questions. Okay. Uh, we, maybe we'll answer the, the last one first. Some, uh, Fred asks if people usually st stick in one tala throughout the piece. Uh, in, you know, in our form of, see, um, that's a North Indian form. Like, you know, in a whole concert, there'll be two, two major talas where they use, and maybe one rag, and then uh, there'll be tukudas. But in South Indian music, it's more of, lyrical based it's all like you know meant actually meant with the for the songs and in one concert we will be doing i would say 20 ragas and then maybe in that like there'll be 10 different talas but basically i said like we have four common talas which have been used which is aditalam eight beat propagatalam three beats Mr. Chapu 7 and Kanda. this will be the like you know four talas will be going around and here and there there'll be a nine beats and then there'll be like 13 beats that we start with something. So there are different talas. So it's not just clicked onto one tala in one concert. There'll be so many talas will be happening. Mostly four, but uh, here and there will be. At least minimum of five talas will be there. Okay, so let's finish up uh, with this question Sebastian yeah. has. He's asking if there's a book you can recommend about this. Also, generally, maybe you could just talk about the best way for people to proceed. I know they can contact you or your son to, to yeah. study to teach. Uh, yeah yeah so but, either me or my son we are doing it but the thing is there is there is a book uh, where my grandfather had written but i am writing you see whoever learns from me i have like a chapters like we have like seven chapters built it up each chapter has four different talas and every tala will have eight lessons with the parents mora core way everything and it's all written it's all pdf uh, i think i have sent one pdf as a basic to uh, David, which he's, he will send it to you or whatever. So you will see it, how it looks like written, but that's basic. It's there. Like soon I might even come up with that. Like, you know, I'll come up with a book and there are books I will suggest. I will, I will just see to it where it's there. And then I will uh, send it to David, the link or something. Yeah. So um, this was really great. Before we say goodbye to everybody, I just want to um, invite Xander to maybe tell a, a bit about what he's planning for his workshop on Thursday. Let me, uh, hey, Xander, you there? Yeah. Cool. So, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, tell, tell yeah first of all, I just want to say thanks so much for doing this workshop. This has been amazing and awesome kickoff to this whole <laughs> thing, setting the, setting the bar high. Um, yeah. Is the workshop that I'm doing next Tuesday, I think? Or oh, did yeah, I that's, yeah, you're correct. It's next, uh, yeah, I think this Thursday, Samarth Nagarkar is going to do a music appreciation class, and each week he's going to concentrate on a different uh, Garana. It's just about vocal music. So if anybody okay. wants to deepen their understanding, uh, check back. Uh, However you found out about this, you can find the link for that. Um, I'll, I'll put it, if I can find it, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, so yeah, I guess you're next, next week, yeah. Um, yeah, so next week, um, yeah, I guess for me, uh, I'm primarily a jazz musician, but I've been studying uh, Hindustani music with Pandit Samir Chatterjee for the last 12 years. And um, a lot of the research that I've been doing specifically recently has been in like finding different ways to um, 
communicate between the two different systems because I find there's a lot of different assumptions that people make from one system that there's something that's very foreign about the other system that is kind of a little bit difficult to understand. So I've been, uh, I'm going to talk about some scales that, you know, relate between the two systems and look at the ways that they overlap in ways that, you know, people might not expect just coming in off the street. So it's open to anyone with any kind of background or interest in that kind of conversation. Awesome. All right. Uh, Selva, any um, last words of wisdom? I think I'm so happy and uh, this is the first time I'm doing it and it's amazing. It's great. Uh, in the beginning, I found it a little like, you know, I mean, no response, like how do I say it, but now I got it, used to it. Like, and it's, it's good. And uh, especially like we are in a uh, situation where we cannot even go out and especially me, I cannot even go out to, I mean, go out from this country. The country wants me to stay here for a while. I don't know for what reason. But uh, it's good. I'm so glad and that I'm so happy to see everyone here. And uh, David, thank you very much. Thanks for putting this one together. And then, My you know, pleasure. Anytime, like, you know, I'm here until the uh, end of this month. If, if I can do one more, then I will be really happy. That'd be it. great. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys. Like, uh, have, be safe and stay at home. Of course, I know. And Arun, I saw your post today, like, you know, <laughs> going with your. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's great. Yeah. I mean, uh, have fun, like, you know, I mean, this is the one thing, of course, for us, we got used to this, staying at home, because if you don't have a concert, if you don't have anything, we stay at home and we practice. Only thing is our mind is just saying like, oh my gosh, it's a, uh, uh, like, you know, I mean, we have to stay, it's quarantine, self-quarantine or whatever. It's nothing. We always, like, you know, we stay at home always, like, you know, either sitting into the computer or composing music or practicing or teaching. We just go out like here and there, which still we can do it, which means like don't get panic, but uh, be safe. That's more important for like, you know, for us. And uh, this is the best time where we can practice more. And, yep. and I would say if anybody felt confused or overwhelmed, don't feel bad, right? I mean, it takes a while to, to, <laughs> to, to, to start getting comfortable with, with a whole new system of music. And, I know. Yeah. But so. it's nice. I'm so glad. Like you know, in this way, like you know, we can even do it when I'm in India. It's which is really yeah. Good so that we, we can always like get, get in touch and do a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you, everybody. Thank we you. appreciate your time. Yeah. Have you fun go. practicing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll unmute everybody. You can, uh... yeah. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank so, you guys. Yep. So, I think I'd like my email. I, David, thank you. Just uh, mail them the thing which I've sent it to you. The PDF. Yes, yeah. Yeah. If you'd want the uh, uh, PDF, just I sent you my David at com, And um, that'll be the best way. All right. And it's getting noisy. So, anyway, thank you very much. Yep. Take care, guys. Yeah, take care. Bye.